Hello, I am the worst football manager ever and welcome back to episode 2 now of my Let's Play Football Manager 2015 run through with um, Aldershot Football Club um, in the 2015 season. I am near the back end of the season. Um, just to give you a bit of an update, um, in my first video I managed to accumulate two whole subscribers so if you are one of those two then thank you very much you are one of those people that secretly hides your name so I won't know who you are but uh, but thanks for subscribing if you are new to um, this didn't see the last video then maybe you want to go and check out the last video or maybe you just want to crack on with me in episode two um, but do like give us give us a thumbs up give us some um, uh, subscribers if you'd like to subscribe to this channel um, the other thing also I would suggest you do is please provide me comments the whole aim of this is to get better at this game I am not particularly good at this game but so many of us do we love it so much and so for me I'm just trying to improve my game on this trying to get better trying to in see what I can do to make myself vaguely good like those people who can take a team from the Vanarama conference all the way to the premiership and within seemingly not enough seasons to even make it possible they're in like the final of the Champions League and winning 5-0 against Bayern Munich. But anyway, at the moment, with my Aldershot team, I am, let me show you a little bit, I'm in the Vanarama Conference. We are just a few games now, just two games away from the end of the season. Um, so hopefully today I might even get through both games, we'll see. But uh, we are end of the season, I managed to scrape by um, out of the relegation zone, so I'm, actually I'm well out of the way of that now. Obviously quite far off... Um, playoff position but I'm in about 14th place not so bad um, but let me give you a bit of an update since the last game um, last game if you remember we drew one 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 no it wasn't we won one nil against Southport on the TV game if you remember that and um, since then it all went downhill for the following few weeks I lost against Bristol 2-0 out of one all draw with Wrexham and I had a, this game here with Forest Green which was so good of my players they really fought hard um, if you look at the look at the stats here we obviously two penalties to be fair which was ours but we went one nil up they then scored in injury time to equalize it then quite early on in the second half we went two one up playing all right and then you know in the last six minutes of the game not only did they equalize but Forest Green took the win so that was a shame but um, the, let me show you this game the following week I, I had possibly the best game I think I've ever played actually it's not even the following week it's just two days later at home against Torquay look at that final score look at that 6-2 an, an incredible game which just happens so rarely and there was no cheating I, I know you can cheat in this game somehow but I don't actually know how uh, and I'm not really up for cheating anyway um, but look at this 6-2 uh, it was a what a game I couldn't believe it Brett Williams my top scorer scored four um, Ryan Jarvis my other top scorer for the side scored two um, their ratings there look 9.8 I don't know if it, is it possible to get a 10 um, leave a comment I'd love to know if it's actually impossible to get a 10 rating um, oh, I, I can't imagine that, that must be like a perfect game if you get a 10 but anyway, let's crack on, shall we, with um, my final two games of the season. I've got one game against Chester, um, one against Grimsby. We'll definitely get to the Chester game. Um, we'll see how that goes, and, and I'll be interested to know if you can provide me any support, any guidance, any wisdom um, on how to improve my game. But let's, uh, let's continue through to the Chester game. We've literally just played uh, Braintree. Um, we, we, we won um, that game, which was amazing. Um, but... Uh, I'm keen to finish the season strong. I, I don't know about you, but I am keen to finish these seasons as, as strongly as I can, even though the outcome's already done. You know, I'm not getting relegated, I'm not getting promoted, but I'd like to finish it strong. So hopefully, we'll get to one game today against Chester and then um, we'll see how we go on from there but while that's loading up um, I just want to let you know about a few things one is I really really want to hear comments um, comments from you about uh, how I can improve my game um, and, uh, and what I can do let's take a quick look at the notes the news and then I'll um, crack, crack, crack on um, I've made a couple of bids by the way on some players um, Aaron, this guy here Aaron Tamwa um, sort of a left centre back left or centre back um, we have no money, so I tried to offer them some kind of like, you know, after 40 games, we'll give them 80k for this guy. Look at, he's only worth that much money. Oh no, that's his wages. But he's only worth this much money, 6,000 there. 
but they were asking like 80 grand for him. I'm like, absolutely ridiculous and no thank you. So I think they're still rejecting all this. Um, they're saying, I can't afford 1K, so I've got to take that down to zero. Let me take that down to zero. Uh, I can't give you anything right now, but I'll give you 80K. I can tell you what, I'll even bump it up to 81. And it's some, you know, this is my bad financial because I know I'm not going to be able to afford eighty thousand um, pounds after forty league appearances with this guy. But you know, I'll go for it anyway. Okay, on non-league paper, has been he's asking me a question. Uh, your bid for Aaron was rejected by Barnet. Are you being are you confident of being able to pull off the deal with an improved offer? Now, I never know in terms of emotions. How emotional are you supposed to be in these? Uh, things like does it does it impact it at all I, I tend to stay calm but I don't know what you think um, I, I'm just going to be on, honest to be honest um, I don't know where we stand right now the chance we'll go back with another we didn't really get the best feedback from Barnet um, I hope to work something out Martin is a reasonable person I'm sure he is a reasonable person and he'll listen to our ideas so we'll go with that um, and he's admitted Anne's response was passionate. I don't know if Ben, that's me, determined to get his man and if Aaron wants to move, we're powerless. They are powerless. But right now I'm uncertain as to where we stand. Okay, so we'll see what happens there. But I don't think I don't think they'll sell him for the sort of money I can give him. Um, so Chester can move up to fourth in the table if they manage to win. Now, the other thing I want to let you know before whilst the next that game is loading up is also I'm now on Twitter. Um, if you are into that kind of thing, you know, if you dabble in that sort of stuff, um, my Twitter tag is um, at um, worst f manager um, at worst f, man f manager. So get onto Twitter. It'd be interesting to hear your feedback on Twitter as well. Um, but I love the YouTube comments personally. But you can go on Twitter as well. I'll be posting links to the videos on Twitter if that's uh, a way you want to engage as well. But it'd be good to see you on there. Um, you know, I, I literally, I'm brand new to this, so I'm I'm going from um, you know I'm going from nowhere really, trying to figure out what I've got to do and all that sort of stuff. Um, but we'll see we'll see if I can some gather some support and some help um, with my football manager game um, update on my injuries Jason Jaden Gibbs he's not a bad player he's gone for about a week and this guy here Sam before he's he's not that great he hasn't been playing much for me anyway so I don't really care about that um, but anyway so yeah so get me hit me up on Twitter if you are on Twitter as well so, as I go into the new season, I'll be interested to know what, what your total tactics for pre-season is. Do you send them on holiday? Do you send the players away? Do you uh, get them on training? How, how do, you, do you sort out the friendlies or do you leave it to your assistant? I think I've got it down as my assistant sorting them out at the moment. But I'm um, not completely sure yet. Tuesday's round up. Let's skip all through this. Um, I, I'm still unsure. I'm still undecided. Okay, Barnet negotiation over this guy. So the, see, look, they want seventy-five thousand pounds now. I'm obviously not going to pay that, so I'm going to go non-negotiable, zero. They obviously want to get rid of this guy, so let me bump that up. I'll tell you what, I'll even pretend to promise one hundred thousand, but obviously between you and me, I'm not going to be able to afford that. But that's not the point right now. We'll just try and get a player, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully, if he's, well, my, I'm always tempted with those sorts of things to play this guy like 30, for 39 games, and then leave him for ages, and, see, and then never play him again, and see if you know. Then you don't have to pay that extra money. Um, whether that's a good idea or not, I'm not so sure. Um, do you ever try that? How do you get around that sort of thing? I, I'd be interested to know your your contract techniques and your transfer techniques as well. Have you got any ideas for? Um, how I can get decent transfers with seriously limited budget. With, with when you play these conference sides, there's, you've literally got nothing. It's it's really tricky, really tricky. Um, okay, so um, let's have a look at this. Um, blah blah blah. Training report on training. See, I'm also getting a lot of bad feedback about my training at the moment. Most of them feel that the tactical coaching could be improved. Now, I won't look at it right now. We'll have to look at the end of the season because I'm keen to get to this match now. I'm bored of waiting. Um, okay, this guy, Hatton. Sam Hatton is one of my best midfielders. He's a great player. Um, they're saying it'd be better to focus. Um, uh, yeah, better. To improve his tackling. He doesn't have much focus and application during training, so that's not too helpful. But let's, let's follow the advice, get him on tackling, see if he can improve his tackling. Apply advice. Oh, yeah, there you go, yeah. Does it, does it for me? I didn't even realise, does it for me? That's amazing. Okay, right, press on. Come on, Chester, let's get to the game. People are waiting. 
people are waiting. Okay. Chelsea have un have accepted an offer from under 18s for a friendly match. Oh, Chelsea under 18s will absolutely get mullered by them. They will absolutely kill us. But, you know, up for the crack, up for some fun. Anyway. Chelsea under 18s. Really? Why would you put yourself through that order shot? Why would you go down that road of losing so heavily? You know it's going to happen. Our under 18s are, are, are quite poor. I think I've probably seen them win about two games this season two games at a push if 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 that um they're not the best i don't tend to get too involved in the under 18s i think um i just don't have the time you know what i mean i think i'd, I'd never get round to a game at this rate look rejected 100 offer made an offer 40 games what are they suggesting might make part of an offer they've well they've non-negotiable I think if they reject this, then, then that's it, we're over with that. It'd be good to get him, but I'm not paying that sort of money now. I can't, I can't afford any money now. So we're the favourites. Um, I'd love to see that actually happen. If we actually win, I'll be pretty surprised. But we're going to go for it. I'm keeping the same team that we had um, for the last couple of games where we've won against Braintree and we won against Torquay 6-2. Um, keep the same team. Oh, my goodness, come on. Let's just get to the... Let's get to the um, let's get to this ok as a manager of all short time you've been invited to cast your vote for the player of the season um, you know what I don't even really care so let's just go for the guy who's got the average, highest average rating it's this guy here Adam Campbell Adam Campbell yeah look 7.5 rating for Adam Campbell plays for Gateshead striker why not um, there you go Adam you've got my vote mate there you are OK, let's press on with the game. Let's see where we get to. So already I'm thinking, you know what, this video, we shouldn't do it any longer than 20 minutes. I think 20 minutes is enough, isn't it? But uh, we'll get to the Chester game. Let's see how we do with the Chester game. I'll be interested to, to, to hear your feedback, actually, as the game plays. I kind of get away and uh, get caught up in the moment with the... Um, with the feed, with the feedback, you know, I get I get caught up in the moment. I'm not with the feedback with the games. I tend to get so excited by it all that I um, end up losing focus and, and not thinking how the team's doing and all this sort of stuff. Okay, so here's my starting lineup. Team selection, three o'clock in the afternoon at the recreation ground. Come on, boys! A couple of games left of the season. Let's finish the season strong. Um, my team actually are looking reasonably match fit, considering it's the end of the season. I'm reasonably pleased with these guys. They've done well. Um, we're going to go on a counter-attack. Uh, yeah, 4-4-2. Four, four, Let me show you the instructions. Higher tempo I tend to play. Get stuck in. Tight marking. Play quite wide and pushing up. We're trying to use the flanks. Um, more direct passing. I like them to be direct at this sort of level. But we'll see what happens. Let's see what goes on. So let's submit the team. And let's get through to uh, the match day. Our, our key man, Brett Williams, 27 goals in 48 games so far. That's not, to be fair, for a team on 14th, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, you know, at 14th place in the league, you think you'd, you'd be scoring hardly any goals, but they've done well. Um, obviously, our goal difference is minus 10, but, but you know, you can't, you can't win them all, eh? You can't win them all. Okay, so as I said last game, apply advice to the team. I tend to tight mark their strikers. Um, let's go with that. Team, team talk. On a good run. Yeah, Matt Gray, my assistant manager, just says encouraging, which I agree with. I'll, I'll go calm. It's been on a good run out there. Get out and press me. Um, they're not up for that. Look at that. No greens there at all. But never mind. Let's just get on to the game. Okay. Um, come on, boys. So, uh I don't know how you lot to view the games, how fast you view the games. It'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. So leave me some comments. How, do you tend to watch the games quite slowly and pick apart each of the individual details? Or are you more of a kind of whip through them in about a minute and, and crack on more with the tactical stuff outside of the game days? Um, for me, I, obviously, I, I, uh, without watching those... Oh, my goodness, Brett Williams! Oh, he should have put that away. He really should have put that away. Oh, wasted then. Waste. That was a wasted chance. Um, but yeah, I I, um, I think I'm quite slow. You know, obviously I'm only two minutes in right now. Um, I'm quite slow. I tend to quite just see the little details of how players are doing. 
Um, is there anything I can offer in terms of team talks from the pitch and half time I like to really have a bit of an idea of how the players are doing um, you know like who's setting the places up who's involved in the plays um, particularly the highlights side of things who's getting a lot of possession and who's uh, whose ratings are doing well and, and that kind of thing also their condition as well I like keeping an eye on the condition oh my word that was out of nowhere bathroom Chester 1-0 5 minutes in boys where was the closing down look at this he's right at the edge of the box from the court that was a wonderful strike wonderful goal whether he meant to do that or not I'm going to be honest I don't think he meant to do that Bathroom, Jack Bathroom, you're a lucky man. Um, fortunate for you, that one. Anyway, it's uh, right, 15 minutes in now. Come on, where's the? Uh, we haven't had. We've had that one beautiful chance from Brett Williams. That he should have put away. He really, really should have been put away. The other question I've got as well is, um, how much do you use these um, the assistant managers kind of um, advice? You see, there, yeah, John Rooney's out of space. Currently, giving him more much. No, no, and you can make changes as the game's going on. I'd love to know whether you use that, whether you listen to your assistant manager or not. Now, but I'm wondering, to be honest, that my, you know, my uh, assistant manager is quite low, low quality, so probably I should ignore him. But um, sometimes I like to listen, it's particularly if they're saying mark somebody who's getting a lot of the ball. Then I'll tend to listen to that and put them on a tighter marking thing in the middle of the game. But yeah, how do you do it? Do you do you ignore your assistant manager or? Um, or do you like to listen to him and, and sort of take note of what he's saying? Well, her, do you have... I don't even know if you get female assistant managers in football manager. If someone can tell me if there's a female manager or assistant manager or female scout, let me know. I'd be fascinated to know that. Oh, my word. McHale scored a second for Chester. Dominic McHale. That is awful. Again, no one was picking him up. Look at this. Oh, they were picking up. He, oh, he ran away from his marker. Ran away from his mouth. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on, boys. 2 nil down. Look, close him down. Close him down. Jack Bartham is doing a lot of crosses. No one's closing him down. Half time. Well, that was terrible. We are exactly Matt Gray. We are the favourites here. And this just won't do. We need to tell him like it is. Right. OK, here we go. I'm, um, I'm going to be more assertive. You don't look like a team that wants to win. Come on, boys. Yeah, some of it. Bit more green now. Bit more green. This is what I want to see. This guy here is abysmal. He's got an abysmal rate in there. His morale. Well, that's, you chill out, mate. Get over it. Okay. Um, oh, man, this is not good. Let's have a little, little look at the stats, shall we? Little gander at the stats. Hmm. Let's uh, match stats. Okay. So, I uh, see we're not having many shots. One clear-cut chance, that's it. And that was the one that Brett Williams missed. Brilliant. Thanks, mate. Passes, complete, tackles. OK, let's... Hmm, let's, let's, let's just crack on with the second half for now, and we'll see how things go. Um, I like to have a, a split split pitch. I want to see what's going on on the pitch. More of a kind of stand-up-at-the-sidelines kind of a manager, really. I don't like to sit down. I want to get involved a bit. OK, so Brett Williams isn't having the best of games after that miss as well. This guy here, Will Evans, he's not doing too well either. He's got to be closed down. We'll make the changes there. You've got to be quite quick with the assistant manager's feedback. You've got to see it and just click it. Or, like, you've got about a second, really, to, to react to it. Which doesn't make life easy. OK. Brett Williams, um, 83. See, some of the players are beginning to look a little bit tired. Give him a five more minutes. I like to sort of wait until about 60th minute, until, unless there's something drastically bad happening. Which, which is obviously, 2 0 down is bad, but like, I mean, drastic, like 4 0 down or something. Oh my word, Brett Williams! Ah! Oh, he should have put that away! Second chance of the game. Quality. This, this is the same guy that two games ago scored four goals, and now he's sitting around practically like on his holiday already. We're not, we're, you know, it's not the end of the season yet, mate. Oh. Goodness sake. Right, I'm going to bring him off, I think. I'm annoyed now. Now he's had that second chance he's missed. Yeah, we've wasted that chance. And now Chester are on the attack, obviously. Let me just watch the end of this attack. No, no I won't. I'll, I'll just... Um, who should I stick on? Let's stick Kevin Cranz on. Take Brett Williams off. You, oh, I'm so annoyed with him. 
Like, he knows that he's such a key player, and then to give like performances like this, it's just no good to anyone. It's no good to anyone. And the thing is, actually, you look at their condition, and actually, look, Brett Williams has got tons of fitness left, so he's probably just not pulling his weight. Jordan Roberts. Like, the condition... Oh, it's when I... Yes! This could be our saving grace, boys and girls. This could be our saving grace. Um, what's the referee going to do? Is he getting any kind of card for that? No, nothing. So this will probably be Williams who takes penalties. He's been taking them all season. Hasn't missed one yet. So no, no, that's an awful thing to say. Oh, but Wet Brett Williams is off. So it'll be Sam Hatton, it looks like, from here. Good midfielder. Solid midfielder. Can I trust him to take penalties? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Oh, yes! Solid display. Picked up the ball straight to the centre. Let's go. Right, OK, I think we'd better start attacking now. Look at that. Bottom left corner. Boom. I'll tell you what, we've scored a lot of penalties in the last couple of games. We've been given a lot of them. Let's go into control. Let's start taking a bit of the uh, control of this game. Oh, that was a poor pass from Roberts. Oof. Dangerous. Dangerous. They're shooting from all sorts of places. Joe Oestler is looking a little bit tired and is not doing too well in this game. So this take him off and let's put in this youngster um, Charles Anthony ha Hancocks um, he's only played a couple of games this season but to be fair at this sort of point of the game and this point of the season it doesn't matter so much and it's good to just give him a little run out isn't it really um, half hour or so just to uh, run it out um, come on boys right 21 we've got about 15 minutes to go just over let's see what happens let's see what happens See, this is where it gets a little bit... Almost like you can't go slow enough at this point of the game when you're in a game like this. Like I find even at the speed I go at, I take the games at, even then it goes almost too quickly for me. So you've got to like pause the game and then get back into it and you know make your changes before, it, before anything major happens and before you lose much time. Um, come on. Oh, come on, shots. Let's have a... Let's get the ball, keep it down, keep it on the floor, pass it about. Let's give them a bit of a team talk, eh? Well, I'm talking at a screen rather than talking to them. Uh, right, assertive. Let's get them to push up, push forward. You can do this, boys. Kevin Kranz, he's on the ball. Sub, pass it across. <gasps> it was a weak shot. He could have passed, should have passed it across already to Jarvis. He would have put it away. 15 minutes to go. They've got an injury there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I haven't really got huge. Couple, he's got Matthew Saunders and Plummer, neither of which are particularly impacting. Got eight minutes left. Let's pause the game. Let's go up a bit. Let's, we're going to get more attacking. Instructions. Um, now let's leave all that as it is. Let's uh, give him a team talk. Passionate. Push forward. They can do this. We can do this, you know six minutes to go to the end of the game we can do this of course see their play they're, S. Chester have had a few injuries in this game Harrison Heath but they just said somebody else was injured then but Ozzy didn't go off oh come on boys injury time now nothing's been happening doesn't look as it uh, this is it they've had it oh well <laughs> lost to um... nah nah that's the end Oh well, boys. Better luck next time, eh? Better luck next time. There's always tomorrow. There's always next week. Ah, oh, bathroom has been sensational today. I just don't think we had enough chances in this game. We didn't put, we didn't get the ball in the box enough. Didn't have a shot when there was times. And obviously Brett Williams losing those two clear chances is a shame. Should be winning these matches. You're right, mate. You're right, Matt Gray. Should be winning these matches. So let's get assertive. Oh, simply was just not good enough I'm afraid yeah they're all green so they generally agree you look nervous Sam Hatton well whatever mate I know you scored our goal but it was only a penalty so anyway that's the end of that game player of the match their player Brett Williams key player got 6.2 didn't play too well so anyway and much advice is needed for my game in summary um, I hope this is uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode um, we'll see you next time for episode 3 probably um 
depending on whether I play it before the next game or not, you might see the final game of the season or I might get straight into pre-season friendlies and, and I'll show you a little bit about how I do pre-season. But I would love to know your put, input. would love to know what you think. So give us a subscribe, give us a thumb up, give us some advice via the comments. Hook me up on Twitter and I'll speak to you soon. See you later, everyone.